Today, we're visiting a special kindergarten for the blind in southwest China's Tibet Autonomous Region. Its founder is quite familiar with the challenges blind children face, as she herself has been blind since childhood. 29-year-old Kaila founded the school in Benchun County in June 2011. Back then, the school had just eight students, but now it has nearly 30. Kaila said her disability often made her feel alone and out of place as a child. Founding the kindergarten has allowed her to prevent other blind children from feeling the same. I start to have this wonderful dream to start a kindergarten for blind children where all the children should have a right to a right childhood where they can play, where they can make friends, sometimes even can fight because this is normal. When she was 12, Kaila was sent to a Tibetan school for the blind that was founded by a blind German woman. With the help of the school's teachers, she was able to become more independent and self-reliant. She mastered three languages at the school, as well as Braille and computer skills. She later traveled to foreign countries, such as Britain and the U.S., to further improve her language skills. She then went on to found Kiki's Kindergarten in 2011 to help blind children gain greater confidence and find direction in life. Because after they came to the kindergarten, they go home, they, they show their village people, hey, I can speak English, I know how to use a computer, or I speak Chinese, do you? And there are maybe five, six hundred people in the village and no one speaks English, just a blind boy or blind girl. And I think this gives them a big, big change. In 2013, Kaila decided to move the kindergarten to Tibet's capital of Lhasa, as conditions are better there. She and her assistant have been busy renovating the school. In less than two months, it'll be ready for the students. My main goal to let the kids stand up on their own feet and face on the society, say, hey, I'm blind, so what? I can do everything what I want to do. Um, doesn't matter if they, if uh, you know, I, I think all of them, they have their own dreams, what they want to do. And I think this is very important.